Division. in Hanover, in the Königreich, Niedersachsen, and it was, uh, it was a very uh, cheeky Mickey concert. It was, um, we had to perform, I had to perform the opening ceremony for this, like, um, it's a computer swap, made, like an exhibition. And uh, in the front row was then the Chancellor and Merkel. And, uh, have, thanks for Merkel, we have some bad history together. She was sitting up, um, and she was sitting up the front, and the music was very, I'm just saying, was, um, uh, was with a colleague from Australia who was playing electronic, Jazz music, it was like sort of. It sounded very strange, and Angela was not enjoying it. She was making this case like. Very bruiser organ staring at me, and I was getting very English, and my fingers were shaking. But, um, halfway, halfway through the song, that, um, we went into this Irish old folk song called King of the Fairies that goes. Angela Merkel's heart started to melt and she was like this. Was all. <laughs> um, my papa, he saw the footage on YouTube, he got very glucklish, very excited. It's his dream I meet a successful European woman who I could bring home to his grill party for Christmas. <laughs> and, uh, she hasn't turned up yet, but he hasn't lost hope. So we're gonna um, anyway play the second half of this piece, The King of the Fairies. This uh, <laughs> I got what you Germans call the Algenwasser. I was running down my gazette. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I rang my Mutti and I said, Mutti, Mutti, I'm forbidden from guitar dings for zwei Monate. I had the Algenwasser running down to the phone. And my Mutti, she called me a Milchbubi and told me, she was, she told me I should learn how to play guitar with Einhand. So I started practicing in the hospital some Black Sabbath riffs like.
And um, ended up becoming a part of, I think, the, the second most popular one-handed Black Sabbath tribute band in the prison. <laughs> uh, using these new techniques, I wrote this next song. It's called The Norwegian Wind Death I Done Missed the Kaputa Mine Album. <laughs> He was one of those kids, he was not just good at guitar playing, 
He was good at surfing, skateboarding, crocodile hunting, fishing, everything. <laughs> he used to be very jealous of him. He had this like Zauber half de Gesicht. It was like the perfect face. It was half like David Hasselhoff and half like Peter Maffei. <laughs> the ultimate Gesicht. And um, I used to turn up to school and he'd be the skateboarding on the ramp while playing Megadeth guitar solos at the same time. His long blonde hair blowing in the wind. And, um, it became my goal in life, I guess, to just get a bit better at the guitar than him. He had this beautiful girlfriend, I was in love with her, her name was Bruce. And, uh, she, she had like the ultimate face, it was half like David Hasselhoff, half like Peter Maffe, with long blonde hair. Nice. It was always my dream to, to steal her from him. So I, I worked every day really hard in the bedroom, practicing some old Pantera. <laughs> Small Metallica classics, and um, nothing seemed to really win. Up. Well, my goal was to create a guitar solo that was so fast it would melt his face off, and he wouldn't be beautiful anymore. And I uh, tried everything; nothing seemed to work. It wasn't until this one day I went into music class playing a little Spanish guitar version of Stairway to Heaven. I I looked over and I saw what I thought was just a little bit of Algenbasser coming out of his. <laughs> By the end of the song, his face had completely melted off and he passed away. So, me and I started dating his girlfriend. We, our first date was to his funeral, and then we went to see Forrest Gump at the cinemas after the, after the event. Anyway, we ended up dating for a year. It didn't work out, but we had some good times, and that's what it's all about. No, but, um, I made this version of Stairway to Heaven, it's called Stairway to Heaven, Rudy Denson, Face Melting Shred 101. <laughs>
bands. It was always um, my dream when I was a kid. The first band that I listened to was a funny metal band called Ugly Kid Joe. And that's how I learned to play guitar. And my dream was to always to join them. And I used to tell my lawyer at school, he's like, what do you want to be when you grow up? He's like, I want to be the guitar player in Ugly Kid Joe. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> and then um, for the last like, two years, we um, started touring with Ugly Kid Joe. And I got to fill in on guitar for a few few gigs. And I, I rang up my old teacher to tell him. and. It's a changed number, it was like an old lady on the phone, but she was quite pressed anyway, so... <laughs> Thank you. 
our country well, other than the Australians that turn up to Oktoberfest and hang their underwear all over the statues. So what they all behaviour. Super Mario Brothers, the Nintendo music would be good because everybody loves that, so I was like, went. <laughs> and he didn't like this, he's like, no, so, uh, so I played it some South American music I learned, it's um, Latin jazz piece which goes. Started to get the old universal. 
There's like a, just tears, like a flu dog and are coming down his division. There's fish coming out of his eyes and running into the next village. There were children fishing in the river. They were selling the fish at the Sunday market. And this became, I guess, after five hours, I realised I was responsible for the infrastructure of the town. I was like, I played for maybe, I sort of um, played five days, I think we played five days straight this riff. The town became very wealthy and then all of a sudden my hand just got tired on Muda and it just like seized up. And all the Alvinvasa sucked back into his eyes and all the fish died and the town went out of business and we felt terribly responsible. We ran down the mountain but Rachel was Tonpach and left her Nintendo Game Boy in the cave. And it had the game Tetris with the music, the all of so Rachel was holding by supporting at the embassy. She ran her multi in Australia, and her multi called her a milch booby and told us to write a song about it. Thank <laughs> you. 